What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beast Like Bentley. It's been a while. We took a short holiday, but we are back. We're back in action and we're gonna come back with a lot of educational videos for you guys. There's one topic that's kind of debatable and that is crate training your dog. A lot of people are against it and a lot of people are for it. We, as you can see, and you might've seen in a lot of our videos, there is a crate in our room and that's where we put Bentley when we leave for a period of time. Now, the reason why we put him in a crate is because most of the time, Huskies, they get bored easily. So if you just leave them lingering around in your room unattended, they're most likely gonna destroy your room. We have so many stories of only leaving the room for maybe five minutes and coming back upstairs to find our room completely destroyed by Bentley. There's some really funny stories which we will cover in another video, but that's not what we're gonna be discussing today. Today, we're gonna to be running you through how to properly crate train your dog. Whether it's a Husky, a Poodle, it doesn't matter. This is the way that we have trained Bentley on how to go into his crate and stay there, and hopefully you can apply it for your dog. All right, guys, so this is the crate that we use. Not sure if it's because we're in Southeast Asia or the supplier that, that the people here get their crates from, but this one is not like the typical one that you normally see on other dog channels or what you can find at your pet shop in the States or maybe the UK. This one has a drop on it, and then underneath is a tray, just in case they have an accident inside the crate. So one time, Bentley actually slipped his paw on the top here, which is made out of the same uh, metal, except the gap is a little smaller. So he got up one day, uh, slipped his paw in, and it hurt him a lot. And so after that, we were really scared of putting him in the crate. Um, so we tried using his favorite blanket, and it actually worked really well, and this has been his blanket since he was a puppy. So he's, he has like this attachment to it. It's like his own blanket. So it's like killing a few birds with one stone. <clears throat> Good sit, sit, come, good boy, sit, sit, good boy. So one thing to keep in mind is you never want to treat their crate as a punishment. So if they do something wrong or bad, never punish them in their using their crate. Always make it a friendly environment, just like we use his blanket to make it more personal to be his home, okay, or his room. So when we refer to his crate, we actually call it his room. So it looks like this. Sit. Now sit. Good boy. Go to your room. Go to your room. Lay down. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. And then when crate training your dog, you always want to give them rewards because again, you want to make it be a friendly environment. You don't want to make it seem like it's a punishment. So a lot of the times we give him a treat before he goes in the crate, after he goes in the crate, then maybe you can shut the door. You don't have to lock it, give him another treat, make him lay down, lock it, give him another treat and so on. So give them rewards as you please. But like I said, always make it a friendly environment. And this did not happen overnight. This took several weeks to, to do. And sometimes when we just leave the crate here open and we'll just hang out in the room, he'll actually just go in there and lay down. And that's where you want to be. You want him to feel comfortable in his crate so that when you do leave for a few hours, they're comfortable and they're not crying all the time because your neighbors aren't going like that. So that's it guys. Very simple, uh, make sure you give them rewards. And then even when you're just hanging out in the room, another thing that helps a lot with crate training is just put them in the crate just for several hours so that they're used to being inside of it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button 2020 style. And thanks for supporting the channel. Later guys.